I haven't gone to a library in a while and I know I mentioned that in another video actually the video that I filmed with this one because I'm wearing the same shirt I have a lot of library stories but um, let me just go with the latest one so I enjoy the library I think it's fun and I enjoy picking out whatever book I want and just taking it back I, I like doing that and it also encourages me to read because I have to go back so I have to finish it in a set period of time however I haven't gone to a library in like a couple of months I have a neighborhood library that's the closest to where I live but um, I don't go there because so it's a story for another day anyway I go to my next closest library and that's usually where I go that's where I got my library card and I mean it's usually got a good selection of books and it's nice and clean and people are helpful and it's a good library but the last time I checked out a book from the library I decided to go to the library that is close to my job first off hilarious story I go to the library to check out this book because they let us off I think it was like a day before holiday and so they let us out early and so I was like you know what I'll go to the library and check it out I've never been to that library and it's pretty big so I went there and I remember that day I was looking specifically for two books I was looking for a Haruki Murakami book and I was looking for fangirl that was when I hadn't bought the book yet I found some Murakami and I found another book and then I thought I need to find Rainbow Rowell and I know that sometimes Rainbow Rowell in the library is either with YA or is in the adult section and I was already in the adult section which is the first floor. I looked for Rainbow Rowell, nothing. So I thought okay if there is Rainbow Rowell it must be in the YA section which was on the third floor of the building and I decided to take the stairs. Little did I consider that these stairs were for more stairs than the ones at my job so one flight of stairs had me huffing and puffing but I decided not to give up because I didn't want to look stupid trying to look for the elevator so I made my way to the third floor I was huffing and puffing I was super tired I was wheezing I was sweating anyway I, I got there right and so then I'm looking for rainbow row and there's no rainbow row so I was like great I made my way all the way up here for nothing so I'm just gonna take a seat and get my myself together a little bit before I make my trip downstairs because I didn't want to take the elevator downstairs because I didn't want to look for it I was walking by the manga section and I sat by there and I was just sitting there trying to gain my strength and my courage to embark on my journey all the way downstairs again when suddenly I look up and I see this guy and he looks at me and he just introduces himself to me and this is a kid like this is a kid you know and he's like hi and I say Hi! And then he proceeds to in introduce himself, so good job. So his name turned out to be Dal. And I said, oh, nice to meet you, Dal. My name is Myra, and I'm trying to be as professional and grown up as I possibly can. And then he goes like, And I say, no, this is my first time here. And then he goes like, Do you, do you go to school around here? And I'm all like, <sighs> I actually work around here, you know, I, I, I work one of the buildings, the grown-up building over there. Then I proceed to stand up before I'm arrested for pedophilia. I'm just kidding. I stand up and he tells me, By the way, I really like your hair. And I'm all like, okay, I'm gonna go now. Is this really what happens when you go to the YA section at the library and when you look like a child? Do, 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 do teenagers just approach you and try to hit on you? Why? Ah, I'm an adult. Three weeks later, I'm trying to come back to the library to return my books because it is the last day I can return them. So I leave my job around 5 because I'm thinking the library closes till 6. I leave my job and I make my way to the library and I start to go down the ramp, you know, to park so I can drop off my books. Well, the, the gate was closed to go inside the garage. So I thought, oh crap, maybe if I get closer, the ramp will come up because, you know, that happens. It did not. So, um... I was stuck because I was trying to put my car on reverse and it wasn't going on reverse because this ramp was so steep. So my car just kept going forward and I was freaking out. I'm like trying to figure out what to do when I look in my rear view mirror and there's a couple of homeless people getting in a fight. And I'm not talking just a I'm talking about it was this lady and this guy and the guy took the lady by the hair and smacked her on the ground literally took her down by the hair on the ground it, 
Uh, looking at back that it was pretty funny. I thought crap. What are we gonna do? I, I, I can't get out and there's like a fight happening down there where these people were beating each other up So then I see there's another car that's about to come in But they were smart because they didn't come in they saw me stuck down there So they stayed out but then there's the security guard that came out and was separating these two people that were getting in this fight and I, I get out of the car trying to like be like I think he saw me because he didn't come down but I got back into my car and I started getting on my phone trying to find a phone number or figure out what to do and this other nice security lady comes out from behind the gate and I see her and I'm all like please I'm just trying to leave I'm just trying to get out of here and so then she just races the gate and lets me go in and I just go in and out I didn't return my books I just left and um so yeah I drove frantically home. The next week I did go back and I make sure to go early on time to return my books on time but I did not check out any more books. Hashtag scarred for life. Let me know if you are a library user and if you've had any weird stuff happen to your libraries because I'd love to know. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and click the thumbs up button if you like this video. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!